believed to be the creations of the long extinct proteins, mass relays were large automated devices enabling faster than light mass transit across a galactic scale network. Almost every mass relay was identical in appearance and size, measuring in at 15 kilometers in length, with an enormous set of revolving gyroscopic rings surrounding an element zero core. They were constructed from the same unknown but exceptionally durable material that made up the hull of the citadel. Further increasing their resilience was a quantum shield, which locked the structure of the relay at the atomic level. This rendered them nearly impervious to outside effects, so much so that it was possible for them to survive even a supernova. The distribution of the relays was not equal, as some star systems had only one, while others had multiple, with the vast majority located in high stellar orbit. The location of such relays was carefully tracked and monitored, as the structures did not output any heat or radiation, making them very hard to find. However, some were gravitationally anchored to other celestial bodies, such as the Charon relay placed in orbit around Pluto. To enable near instantaneous faster than light travel, relays functioned in pairs. Before transit, a spacecraft that wished to use a relay first transmitted the amount of mass to be transferred, as well as the destination if applicable. The relay then aligned itself to the target before the traveller entered its approach corridor, which was scanned by the relay for the specified mass. Its powerful ESO core then created a mass-free tube of space-time to its partner, propelling the space spacecraft across the vast distance to its destination. The receiving relay had no specific exit point, instead spacecraft arrived at a random point within a sphere thousands of kilometers across, with the relay at its center. If multiple ships wanted to transit together, the sending relay was informed of the total mass of every ship to make the jump. They were then sent together as a single packet, maintaining their relative positions. Despite their homogeneous appearance, there were two kinds of relay, primary and secondary. Primary relays could transmit mass across thousands of light years, but were paired to only one specific destination. In contrast, secondary relays could transmit over a few hundred light years, but could link to any other relay in range. For unknown reasons, many relays were dormant upon discovery, but were easily reactivated. However, activating a dormant relay that gave access to uncharted systems was strictly forbidden by the Citadel Council as a direct result of the devastating Ragnai Wars. This led to the Relay 314 incident, when Turians found human explorers attempting to activate a dormant relay and fired upon them, which spiralled into the First Contact War. Despite the widespread belief that the Protheans created the relays as benign infrastructure, they were in fact built by the Reapers as part of their cycle of harvesting galactic civilizations. The relays were used to guide civilizations to develop along specific paths that the Reapers preferred, as well as accelerating the development of galactic society, reducing the time between each cycle. A group of Prothean scientists working in secret on the planet Ilos managed to crack relay technology long after the Reapers had harvested their civilization. They built the conduit, linked with another smaller relay they constructed inside the Presidium on the Citadel. The Citadel was also itself a colossal relay, one that led directly to intergalactic dark space where the Reapers waited out the time between cycles. The Prothean scientists sabotaged the mechanism that opened this relay, hoping to prevent the arrival of the Reapers for the next cycle. There were a number of other unique relays across the galaxy. The most dangerous of these was the Omega-4 relay located within the Sarabaric system. This relay had a different appearance to all others, and was surrounded by hazard beacons to ward off potential explorers. This was because no ship had ever returned from a transit through Omega-4, except for the mysterious Collectors. In 2185, Commander Shepard and their team discovered this relay led to a black hole in the galactic core, where normal transit drift inaccuracy caused ships to arrive in an extremely hazardous environment. However, the use of a Reaper IFF triggered advanced safety protocols in the Omega-4 relay, allowing safe passage to an area of relative calm. The oldest known relay was discovered on the edge of the galaxy in Batarian space by a team of scientists led by Dr. Amanda Kenson. They dubbed it Alpha and determined that this secondary type relay had the capability of dramatically increasing its own range and could even reach the Citadel. After discovering a Reaper artifact near the Alpha relay, they realized that it was meant to be a backup entry point for the Reapers and set out to destroy it. While relays were largely believed to be indestructible, they were so vital to long distance travel that no no one had ever actually tested this theory. Dr. Kenson and her team determined that it was possible, and converted the asteroid the Reaper artifact was found on into a weapon. Upon its destruction, the relay released a blast on par with that of a supernova, wiping out the 300,000 Batarian colonists in the system. 
The mass relay network allowed rapid galactic travel for many civilizations across the millions of years since its creation. After the firing of the Crucible in 2186 to end the threat of the Reaper invasion, the relays were shattered, leaving the survivors to rebuild.